Hey, so I found, I think, what is the best solution for you to stream or screen capture your, uh, your session in Cubase, Logic, Reaper, whatever, in your DAW. I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it, and I'm not using voice meter, I'm using OBS, but the setup is so much easier. And the best thing is that you can actually connect your instruments and use your sound card as usual. Where, uh, you know, when you're using uh, voice meter, you're losing your inputs and they become virtual inputs. So uh, it, it's really, really hard and you have a lot of latency. So let me show you what I've done here in Cubase, but I'm sure you can do this uh, in uh, Reaper, Logic, whatever, uh, you know, Studio One, Ableton. So let's, uh, let's have a quick look here. So first of all, um, we need to understand the problem. The problem is that we want to have Cubase send the information, send the audio to OBS. And I'm not teaching you OBS, but I'm going to show you some, uh, some of the stuff here. So first of all, you need to download a Reaper plugin uh, bundle. And I'll put the link to this, uh, to this uh, page uh, in the description of the video. And I'm downloading the 64-bit um, the for me. I don't know if you need the 32, so uh, whatever works for you, whatever you need, and install that. Next, I'm going to Cubase, and in Cubase, I'm going to put that plugin, um, the Rhea Stream, on the master uh, track. So let, let's go to, um, to my uh, console here, and you can see here that I have uh, this, uh, this plugin here. Right, this is the one. There you go. Now you need to set it as a, as a sender. Okay, you have two choices. You can either send it as a receiver, set it as a receiver, or um, as a sender. We're sending, and we're sending as a local broadcast in um, in our uh, system. So what really happens is that uh, th this plugin will take the audio and uh, just send it over a local network that is uh, bound to your system. Now, of course, the other uh, very important part of this is to have a receiver in OBS. So I'm going now to OBS and in OBS, I'm uh, adding an input channel here. This is Cubase. So uh, what I've done is clicking the plus here, selecting audio input capture, and uh, then I can uh, um, set it to, to the defaults. You don't need to do anything, just set it as the default input. But this is the very important part. This is the, the, the real uh, deal here, is that you need to right click here and select filters. So maybe you don't know that, but in OBS you can put plugins on the input channels. And this is, uh, they call it filters, and uh, it's basically VST plugin. So if you click the plus here, you'll see that they have in-house plugins, but you can also add a VST2 plugin, and you can name it what, whatever you want. And next, you, you click the drop down here and search for the RIA um, stream, RIA stream. So it should be somewhere here. And... Um, there you go, uh, it's, uh, let's see where it is, Ria, I'm missing, here, here you go. That's standalone thing, the first one. I don't know what, why it, it, it is listed twice, no idea, maybe, maybe it's uh, VST2, VST3, 32, 64, I don't know, I, I, I'm using the first one. Anyway, I'm gonna close that. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll go back. I don't want to mess with my uh, setup here. Again, filters, and I don't want this second one. I'll just click the minus here, and there you go. If you click the open plugin interface, you'll see you'll see that uh, we uh, we have that uh, filter in. And let's see where it is. So. Um, Maybe it's already open. Let me close that and minimize that. So this is the sender and we need the receiver. Go back here, right click, filters, open. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, 
as you can see, we have the receiver here. So let me play something and I'll show you that this actually works when I'm playing. Um, I'll, I'll just play my guitar here or whatever. Let's uh, select here. Okay, this is the receiver. Okay, this is from the OBS. You can see the icon here. So I'm going to play something. You get the idea. Okay, so um, what we have here is uh, it, it is exactly what we wanted. We wanted to record our um, our session, my Cubase uh, here, or maybe it's a Reaper or you know whatever software you're using and we wanted to have it with the full functionality of our audio interface and now uh, one uh, maybe last uh, point here is that uh, the same idea goes for streaming so if you want to stream that's the same idea sorry so you you go to um to uh to obs and you just stream things if you don't know how to stream from uh, from OBS, uh, then check out my other uh, tutorials in my channel. It's uh, it's pretty simple, and there are lots of other uh, tutorials in uh, in YouTube. So I'm, I'm sure you're gonna be fine. One very important point here uh, to make is if if you're new to this and uh, you, you don't know much about OBS, something that is really important for us uh, tutorial guys. Um, if you want to have the audio channels separated, meaning you want to have one audio channel for your uh, mic, and in, in, in my case here, this is the condenser. It's uh, it's connected to my audio interface. It's not a USB uh, microphone, and you want a different channel for Cubase or your uh, your software, then you, you have to separate those. So if you right click any of these channels, right click here and go to Advanced Audio Properties. You see that you have all these uh, uh, channels here, and my uh, my microphone here is set to mono. This is important, and you can see that it, it goes to a different track. So I have track one for my mic, and track two for my Cubase session. And then later, when I'm editing this with, uh, uh, for example, with uh, um, Resolve, I'm using uh, DaVinci Resolve, then it's easier for me to edit and uh, make sure that the sound levels are matching and everything sounds great. So this is the idea. I think this is really, really good. I've been searching for a good solution for quite some time and I had lots of people asking me how to, you know, to do this, especially now that everybody wants to stream their, uh, their work and DJs and uh, producers. So this is really, really good. Now, uh, one thing that I would like to ask. First of all, I've not tested it uh, a lot. This is uh, pretty much the first tutorial that I'm doing here. So I, I would like to hear your comments here. If you have any other ideas or any problems that you see. And second, if you find even better solution, let me know and I'll be happy to review that and create a new tutorial. And that's it. So if you, um, if you like this, please subscribe to my channel because I'm uh, really, really happy to see more and more people uh, joining me here in, uh, in my channel. And if you have any questions or anything at all, please leave a comment. I'll make um, an effort to answer if I know the answer, of course. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye bye. <laughs>